What's up YouTube? In this tutorial we're talking about the language class of CodeIgniter and I'm going to use a simple uh, contact form application in order to um, show this to you. So basically we've got a simple contact form here and um, the user can change the language here. So if they set it to English then all of the language on the page changes to English and they can make it French, it all goes to French. Um, you'll see the box is moving around, that's just because I didn't do any styling for this and if you want to do your own styling uh, you can but I didn't have time for it, for it in this tutorial so um, let's uh, start off with English and if we click in here then it just removes the content we're just using jQuery to help people out and uh, clear that out of there and um, same thing with this but if they type something in there for example their name and a message and then they click away well now these stay there Okay. If we click submit here, you'll see uh, we're doing some client side validation here. Sorry, your message must be longer than 10 characters. And for these uh, two fields here, we're doing client side validation and server side validation uh, just to make it super secure. So both the client side and the server side will require this message to be um, at least 10 characters. And the server side um, also has other requirements. And the name, I believe, uh, it just can't be empty. So if I do this, sorry, you must input your name, or if I just take this away and click submit. Well, it can't be the default value, and it can't be an empty string. So let's just put that back. And uh, so I think we got 10 characters there. And if we click submit, thank you, your message has been sent. We can go back. And supposing we just forgot all of our English, uh, we can uh, change this to French. And um, same deal here. When they click submit, now they're getting some French error messages here. And uh, let's choose a French name like Jacques. And um, Jacques says bonjour. But of course, that's not 10 characters. So add some stuff on there. And then um, they get a French uh, French success message, message right here. So um, that's basically what we're creating here. And um, so in this first video, I'm just going to show you how to set everything up. Uh, and then the next videos will go deeper into it. So let's jump over to the code. And we'll start with, uh, we've got our application folder right here. And let's go into config. And let's look at autoload.php. So inside autoload.php, um, we're loading the database, form validation, and session libraries. And if we go down to the helpers, I'm using the URL helper form helper and HTML helper. Uh, actually, I don't think I used this one in there, but uh, let's just leave it in there for now. And if we go down here, that's it for that. Let's look at config.php. Config.php base URL is an empty string and index.php is an empty string. Um, it's better to put a base URL here, but um, it says here that you know if we leave it um, if we leave it empty, then CodeIgniter will guess the protocol. So um, in this case, it guessed correctly because my application is working fine. So um, just leave that as an empty string. But um, if your base URL is not working, then just set it in there. And let's keep going down here. We can keep going down here to the encryption key. And because we're using the session class, this needs to be set to a value. Um, I hope you would make it something more secure than what I did. And um, session table name, CI sessions, just leave that how it is. And I'm going to show you in a minute how to create the um, sessions table. So that's all we have to do for config.php. Let's open database.php. And inside here, you'll set your username and your database username, your database password, the name of the database you're working with. In my case, it's just code test. And um, that's, that's it for that. So let's open up routes.php and inside routes.php we'll set our default controller so um, in my case my default controller is mypages.php so I put my pages here but you can set those however you want you could call yours main.php and then your default controller would be main so um, just make sure those match up and I believe that's everything we need to talk about for um, the config so let's um, let's close these files and let's go over to our database. Now, inside the database, um, we're just gonna we're just gonna go here to code test. And um, inside code test, this is a new database we created, and it has two tables in it. It has a messages table 
and there's the CI sessions table. And let's first talk about the um, messages table. So inside the messages table, um, you'll see we have um, an ID. Let's look at the structure of this. And the ID is um, int 11 auto increment, and, it, and that's a, um, a unique table. Um, and the next one is name, that's far char of 50 characters. And um, that's all you have to do there. So um, for the name, we're doing, um, we should do client side validation that it's um, not more than 50 characters. We should also do server side validation that it's not more than 50 characters. And we can do that easily in Code Igniter. And that's because in the database here, it only can take 50 characters, anyways. So you want to make sure that those are all working together. Um, message is a type of text because bar chart can only hold up to 255 characters, whereas text can hold a lot more. And then we also have this other variable called create time, and that type is timestamp, and that gets um, incremented automatically. We do not need to submit the timestamp to the database. The attributes is on update um, current timestamp. Let's see if we can uh, just uh, edit this. Actually, we can see everything right here. So yeah, um, on update current timestamp, default current timestamp. That's the default value. That's where it's getting the um, default value, and uh, this other stuff. So um, that is our messages table, and here we have our CI sessions table. And you can see that um, I'm the only session right now because this is running on my local host, and um, let me just show you first how to create this uh, session table. So basically, you just um, in Code Igniter, you'll go to um, you'll find session here, so session class, and you'll just scroll down here and look for this big blob of text right here. Create table if not exists, and you'll just copy that, and you'll go over to your um, my admin and just you'll click on SQL and just paste it in there. And when you run it, that's going to create the table with all of the um, values you need and stuff like that. So that's super easy to create. And you'll see that this CI sessions um, match that variable we were looking at before um, inside the um, config file. So um, let's just close this right here. And um, I believe that's all we need to talk about for the database. Uh, let's just talk one little thing about the CI sessions table, um, you'll see that um, by default it will have a session ID, IP address, the user agent, and the last activity. But you'll notice this last column here is user data. And that is something that I have added manually in here um, in the code and we'll look at that soon. So you'll see here that um, we have the string of nine characters and that is um, the language, sorry, the, actually the language is, right, that's a string of eight characters, that's the language, that is our name, and the value of that is a string of six characters, which is French. Okay, so we've stored uh, one name value pair in our, in our session so far, and that's a language, and it has a value of French.